Hi, I'm Ryan and this is Rosie and welcome to Basset Hound Central. Today we're going to be talking about do Basset Hounds shed. So if you like Basset Hounds, I suggest that you take the subscribe button and the like button and take them on a long ride through the country with the windows rolled down and their ears flopping in the air. So Basset Hounds have short, smooth, water-resistant fur that's easy to maintain yourself. They are considered to be moderate to heavy shedders, and I would say from my point of view, they're definitely on the heavier side. Uh, growing up and as an adult, I've had Huskies, German Shepherds, Cocker Spaniels, uh, what else, German Shepherd mixes, um, many different types of dogs, Great Danes, and by far, Rosie is the worst shedder of them all, especially as you come into the spring and summer season. She sheds like crazy, but it, it literally is uh, 365, you know, 365 days a year she's shedding. And um, so, yeah, what we'll do is I will show you the best way to manage that. And um, we're going to be using this thing here. It's the Kong Zoom Groom. It's got these rubber little tips to it and she actually loves it. Whenever I pull it out, she starts to wag her tail and she gets excited. She loves the way it feels. And typically what I'll do is uh, brush her once or twice a week. And um, that just helps manage the shedding. I know, I know. And um, when you, I give her a bath about once a month and I'll brush her before the bath. And then after the bath, once she's dry, I'll brush her a second time, and that really seems to help. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how this works. Come here. And the great thing about it is you just scrub it. You can go one direction or the other, and you can see all of the fur that it's starting to pick up. But Rosie actually just kind of, kind of likes it when I go back and forth like this. Don't you, girl? Normally, I don't do this on a table. I just do it in the backyard. But as you can see, it just gets all of that fur off of her. And you just go through her whole body. And it's just going to pull off all of that loose fur and keep it outside rather than on your carpet. All right, so on the next part of this video, we'll go into my house and I'll show you what it looks like after 48 hours uh, of a house not being swept. Normally, my wife will um, vacuum the house every 24 hours, so once a day, and that helps to manage the fur inside of the house, but I asked her to let it go for 48 hours just so that you all could see what type of fur you can expect to see uh, inside your home. So let's go ahead and do that. So I went ahead and used the broom, um, just a normal cheap broom that you can get at Walmart. And after sweeping all the hard surfaces 
I ended up with this pile. Um, typically, my wife prefers to use this Bissell, I think it's called the Pet Slim Clean View. She prefers to use this vacuum, and it was empty when I started, and you can see that it did get some additional fur that the broom was unable to get. And that was just on the hard surfaces. So this is a, a much better tool to use. And I'm going to go ahead, add this to the pile, and I'll now vacuum. We have two small area rugs. I'll vacuum that up and we'll see what we get as a total fur collection in 48 hours. All right, so I just finished vacuuming the two small area rugs that we have, and let's take a look at the additional fur we picked up. So this is what we ended up with after a 48 hour period between the hard floor and the carpets. And so, I don't know, what do you think? Do Basset Hounds shed a lot? I would say they do. And of course, this total here doesn't include what's uh, still on the couch, because uh, I didn't vacuum the couches. And it doesn't include what's you know landed on on the um, you know tabletops and, and things like that. If you haven't guessed by now, yes, basset hounds definitely do shed. It is manageable. It's something that you can take care of yourself. You don't have to go to a groomer to take care of it. But if you're thinking about getting a basset hound, it's definitely going to take some work on your part to manage that. And it's just up to the individual person how much fur you're willing to accept in your home and how crazy you're going to be about it. I'm in the military and sometimes I have to wear my dress uniform and when I get that thing out I have to be super careful not to get anywhere near Rosie and I definitely can't sit down anywhere in the house um, because if I do I'm just going to get full of fur. So just think of your lifestyle, what you're willing to accept for the amount of fur and whether that's good for you. So uh, hopefully this has helped you learn more about the Basset Hounds and again if you like Basset Hounds, please subscribe and like this video, and we'll see you on the next one.